Hey everyone. So I'll be honest, the closest I've ever gotten to really being in the great outdoors is my virtual background here. But Blair Braverman is no stranger to the wilderness. Uh, this is someone who participated in a show called Naked and Afraid, which is terrifying enough by sound. And she has two books, Welcome to the Goddamn Ice Cube and Dogs on the Trail. So she's more than qualified to dive into this fiction debut featuring four strangers who aren't quite sure what they signed up for anymore. Um, it was supposed to be a survival reality show, and it was supposed to be pretty darn easy for some of them. And it was also supposed to be a wild payday at the end of it. But now there's really no end in sight. And what was supposed to be a game is turning into a horrifying new reality. Can you build your life up from the ground is no longer a tagline. And it's not even a question anymore. It's just something that they have to do. Um, no one knows whether or not the TV producers are up to this or if they have anything to do with it but this page turner kind of promises that it'll be a good time anyway you'll have plenty of time for this one and it's on sale november 1st girl forgotten by karen slaughter coming out august 23rd so karen is such a star everyone loves her books she's a huge library supporter in particular people are so excited for this book girl forgotten because it's a follow-up to her pieces of her which was a massive hit on netflix tony collette's in it and everyone's hungering for the next part of that story. And don't worry, you have it. So it follows the main character, Andy, who is in the first book, pieces of her. She's now a US Marshal. She's investigating a cold case that may be linked to her father's past. And if you're watching the show, you know who he is. Um, but it goes back and forth between present and 1982. There's a young girl who was murdered and her tight knit group of friends really stuck together and her family retreated. And now Andy is sent to protect a judge receiving death threats and kind of to get justice for this girl who was murdered as well. But other things from even her past are coming up. And there's a lot of issues to talk about. There's strong female characters. There's, if you love true crime, there's a cold case in there. So that's there. And then of course, a cult. We're all, we're all here for that. So very excited for this new one from Karen Slaughter. We All Want Impossible Things by Catherine Newman, which goes on sale in November. And I absolutely love this book so much. It is a story about two women, Edith and Ashley, who have been best friends for over 42 years. They've gone through everything together. Binge drinking, trick-or-treating, REM concerts, hickeys and heartbreak, marriages, infertility, and children. They have run through all of life's obstacles and fun times together. However, the worst has happened. Edie is dying of ovarian cancer and she's spending her remaining days at a hospice near Ashley. Um, and Ashley's life is a bit unended, upended emotionally. There's, there's heartbreak around her daughters, her ex, husband, um, dear friends, poorly chosen lovers. She's all over the place. Um, she just doesn't have herself rooted. Um, and, but she's there, she's there in every way for, um, for her friend uh, who is dying. And so this is their story about being there for her, about reminiscing. Believe me, if you think this is all tears, think again. There's, there's humor in this book. There's heart in this book. Yes, you will cry, but you will laugh too. And you may even see yourself in, the, in these two characters who are so real and so flawed. They, they hold on. They don't want to let go. They're imperfect in every way, but they're there for each other. It's a beautiful, beautiful story. I cannot recommend it highly enough. That's We All Want Impossible Things by Catherine Newman. Love it. 